Hey, how's it going, everybody? Charlie Wilson here, aka Sinister Charlie. Welcome back. Still a little sick, uh, but you know, hanging in there. Uh, thank you for all the uh, the kind words in the uh, the community. No, I, I don't know what you call it. Anyway, uh, the community. Uh, uh, yeah, so we got some more uh, Ame. Uh, this is part two of that fourteen minute thing. Um, made by uh, Cherry Two. Uh, I'll put the the link to the descript in the description. You guys can check it out. Uh, yeah, so let's go. Anyone who got wait, anyone can guess the amount of times Ame says like in this video. Went, Ooh, dude, Mister Beast Tactics, uh, forty-seven. There you go. <laughs> oh, Mister Beast. I didn't. Um, I have this other scar. Yeah, I have this other scar. I don't have any um, scars. It's at the top of my head. Like, uh, there my you brother go. and I, we were jumping on a bed when we were like, I was like. That's how you know she's probably from uh, uh, the West Coast or West of the Rockies, at least. Uh, I don't know if she's ever said it, but uh, maybe probably California. I don't know. Three or four. And we were, you know, like, uh, you guys jump up and down on a bed like a trampoline. And when we were jumping up and down, he pushed me off the bed. And there was a drawer that was open. And I hit my head on the corner of the drawer. And I got brain damage. No, okay. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> That's true. I, did, uh, I don't think I had any brain damage, uh, probably, but I had I, this huge eh. scar on the top of my head, and sometimes um, when I breathe, I, it feels like there's air going through it, like, <sighs> yeah, yeah. It feels like uh, it feels like there's air going through it at the top. It's really weird. But they had to um, they had to staple my my head shut. But I'm okay, okay now, right? I turned out, I turned out good. They had to put like, all the candy back in your head. I, uh, I used to say like all the time. I got rid of that when I probably when I joined the military. It's probably when I joined the navy. It, that that but that went away real quick. <laughs> there was no more likes. There was only hates. Apparently, like when scars heal, like the nerves when they come back, they come back like really weird. That's probably why it feels like I can breathe through the hole. I don't think there's actually a hole, like air. Just for some reason, the nerves are like crossed. Or I don't know. I have a, I have a blowhole. I don't know. Oh, okay, yeah, this sounds gross, but like as a kid, I used to dip pizza into like Coca Cola, and it actually what? tasted really gross. <laughs> You're disgusting. <laughs> It's good. Yeah, that as a kid, horrible. it was good. No, it's not soggy. It's like cause you dip it. And as soon I feel as like I'm gonna miss that right 47 away. number. I really like uh, pizza with ranch, though. That's yeah, tasty, I, 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 not very healthy. <laughs> I'm all right with pizza on ranch. Uh, I, I haven't done hot sauce in a while, but that's uh, generally the uh, the best thing to put on pizza's hot sauce. But uh, I'll do ranch. Well, as a kid, I also used to like drink soda through my soda. nose. It's so oh. painful. Well, Why would it was you like do that? I remember one time when I was going camping with uh, older brother Watson, camping. and like uh, it was like a Boy Scouts thing or something. And we were all, uh, everybody was just, like, they're like, <laughs> look, look, try drinking the soda through your nose. <laughs> look, look, look. <laughs> Is that what happened? Burns. <laughs> Don't do it. What's wrong with you? That's just you know things that you do. <laughs> My brother, when we were really young, he tried um, tried melting like a Power Ranger leg. Hell yeah! To to uh, the Power Ranger. As it as you do. Got the whole house on fire. Well, not huh? the whole house, but kind of like one side of the house on fire. And <laughs> uh, I was really young, so I was I hid in the closet. And it's like the worst thing a kid can do, because then you get like suffocated by the smoke and stuff. Oh, but uh, the fire made him and saved me. <laughs> now I'm here. Was it like a near death experience? Did you almost die? I mean, I guess. I mean, I, I didn't, like, get burned or anything, but if I had stayed longer, it would have been okay. pretty bad. Well, there you go. Do you, do you do like, do you remember specifics? Like, were you, uh, what? Well, I remember, I have, like, well, I was really young. I must have been, like, two or three or maybe four around there. Oh. Yeah, I remember, like, uh, that house. Like. I, like, I don't know. I moved around a lot of houses, so. Like, I remember, like, what the house looks like and, like, doors on the house. There's a lot of likes. Of, like, I remember a closet, but I think most of my memories probably just comes from like my mom telling me the story instead. Oh. And then my brain like being like connecting some stuff together that I remember from that house. 
Not really the a blink, though, fire, I guess. My god, that's scary. Like, how did, 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 did your brother tell the firefighter about you, or were you, like, screaming, crying? Uh, yeah, I think my grandma was home, and so, uh, they, like, told the firefighter, like, oh, she's still in the house somewhere. Oh my god. That could've ended. It wasn't that bad. Like, I, think it, I think only one bedroom was, like, affected, or, like, two bedrooms. Pooey, that's scary. Hey, that's you have a stories scary. like that, and I'm trying to think of stories that I remember from my mom telling me, and I have one that I was in a ba I got kicked out of a... I, uh, I have a lot of stories mostly involving the military in Iraq, so, I mean, it wouldn't be fair. <laughs> it wouldn't be fair. Because I left the baguettes out, and I was just the right height to be like, oh, bread, ow. <laughs> I got kicked out. I got kicked out because I, I ate bread that I didn't pay for. Oh, all three years of me. Excuse me. Good. <laughs> why didn't you have a job? You should have been paying for the bread. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, what the hell? I'm going to keep you. I'm going to keep your toddler behind and make him sweep the floor for that bite of bread they took. I told this on, it was kind of, kind of similar, not really, but uh, really? I told this on a street before, but um, uh, yeah, I was in an ice cream shop with my mom. Uh, I, I was really young too. I was like, I don't Is know, again, I must have been around the story? same age. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was in story. an ice cream shop and like the floor was wet because they had been mopping. And uh, I slipped and fell oh. after I got my ice cream cone and I was like licking the ice cream and I bit down on my tongue really hard. Oh, yeah, oh, like a, yeah, we heard this. Well, story. it's not very visible now, but like I have a light scar there now. Uh, yeah. I hit 47. My mom said that the doctor said that the tongue, my tongue was hanging off from like, uh, ah, like two threads the, or something. Like damn. Two or three Ew. Will you show me? I missed the 47 number. I, I think I was thinking of 47 Ronan. But uh, that's a lot of likes on me. Me one name? <laughs> yeah, I'll show you. I'll mm -hmm. show you. But, um,. Uh, like my mom got really mad at the There's guy nothing. at the ice cream store because he he was too scared to call nine one one after I fell because there was a lot of blood and he was like, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a suit or something because he, he didn't have a and he should have but she had to like grab him from over the counter because he he wouldn't call nine one one. She went super mom mode. Yeah. yeah, I've heard that before. Like uh, moms, they just like uh, if their child's in danger, they just get a ton of adrenaline and they're just like. Bleh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. They, they do. turn into like, I don't know, something happens, they like black out. Oh, I used to eat, uh, <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to eat, uh, frozen waffles. Like yeah. the chocolate chip waffles, I would just eat them frozen without toasting them. I guess because I was what? I was like a uh, pretty young, so I didn't know how, how to do eat you a toaster. Do that? And I would just, I would just go and get them. How does that and I work? Just eat them frozen. <laughs> Maybe that's... I was too short, but when I had octopus, uh, I like the texture. <laughs> oh well, you can't. <laughs> but it's not surprising because when... you can't put like in there when she's using it as uh, what, what do you call it? Uh. When you say you like something, you can't do that. That's cheating. It has to be like a like that, like 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 that. When I was a kid. <laughs> I like to Bark. eat sand. Yeah, I like to eat sand when I was a kid. I don't know the texture. Uh, I really liked it. I didn't eat it by the handful or anything. I'd just be playing in the sandbox and get sand in my mouth and ew. be like, no. No. Well, I have a story about uh, Disney World. I visited Disney World, and I was there. I was waiting in line for one of the rides there. It's, it's a water ride called Splash Mountain. And yeah, I've been there. My brother and I were waiting in line, and my brother was, like, swinging on the ropes and, and like, doing all these cool tricks. You know how, like, there's ropes separating the lines? Yeah. And he was, like, swinging <laughs> yeah. on them. And I was like, I want to do that, too. And so I was swing I started swinging on them, and I tried to, like, do a flip, and then I face planted into the concrete and then i i had uh, a big scar <laughs> i had a big open wound on my face from face planting and you get hit a lot in the head huh? to the hospital and in disney if you guys don't know because they try to like their slogan is like the happiest place on earth so they, they don't want to bring in like a ambulance so instead of an ambulance they brought like a limousine that had like Okay, yeah, I, I actually, uh, it depends on what, uh, I, I, Disney has their own, like, police force and stuff like that, so, uh, and their own emergency crews, uh, and also, uh, if you're in Disney World, they usually, uh, if you're about to die or you have died, they bring you off property, so they can claim nobody's ever died at Disney. 
It's interesting. Medical people in it because I don't want to panic people with an ambulance. And so we all got to go in the Disney limousine and they took us to like a children's hospital and everything was like Disney themed. And I remember there was like this giant aquarium that they had in the hospital. And I thought it was really cool. And then, um, yeah, I, I had a scar from, <laughs> I have a scar from when I think like my teeth went through underneath my lip at the time. Jeebus. And I like bit through it. And <laughs> I have face planted into the concrete. There's a lot of blood. So yeah, that's another blue. time I hurt myself. <laughs> I have I have a lot of stories like that. Yeah, but you oh, do. I want to tell you guys. <laughs> I said I because uh, I told you guys some stories today during Detective Diaries. And so and so uh, there was like that thing on Twitter where somebody made a diagram of me, and I I, <laughs> uh, I had sent that to my to uh, Auntie Watson. And she she said she like just replied, <laughs> and she said because uh, I had like a bunch of injuries that I had that had happened to me before, and you guys like made a little diagram showing all of them, and she said that I was missing a few. <laughs> wow. And, and to tell you guys <laughs> about the one where I smashed my face into the concrete at Disney, <laughs> I t I told her I told her that's the one I told them today. And then she said, oh, there's, then there's that one where around Christmas time that you were swinging in between two chairs and you fell and, and you broke your arm and you didn't even know your arm was broken Jeebus. until we, we visited like some family for Christmas and they're like, what's wrong with Amelia's arm? Because apparently I didn't even make any noise or anything. I didn't say anything that my arm was broken. So they took me to the emergency wow. room and my, my arm, <laughs> it actually was broken. <laughs> They didn't even nobody noticed. I didn't notice. I didn't know. <laughs> but I was I was like, Why is your uh, arm purple? Like four or three or something. Are you turning purple? Four, probably. Anyways, yeah, I just thought it was funny because <laughs> she, she she's just replied. She's like giving me all these other stories. <laughs> One time I was uh One time. laying in bed. It was after I got home from school and I didn't clean my room, right? So I had a juice box. I had a juice box sitting on on top of my dresser. I saw it. I was like watching it. I was just like staring in that general direction, right? And then all of a sudden, I saw it like tip over, like somebody tipped it over, and then it like righted itself. You know, it like went back. Uh -huh. it scary. It moved. I think it was just the <laughs> air inside. <laughs> Probably the air. I remember I had a, I had a. Uh, it was actually a surprise birthday party, and um. Oh. I don't remember what Shrek movie it was, but I remember we all watched Shrek movie. I've, um, yes. I've never seen a Shrek movie. I've seen clips, but that's about it. And I've never sat through an entire Shrek movie. Nah, I, I think it was beyond my time. I, I'm pretty sure. A fun time? It was a time. It was time. A very dark, deep memory inside <laughs> my head. I've unlocked new memory. <laughs> you have, thank you for that reminder. What kind of birthday you parties really like have you had? I guess so. Oh, I had a, I just had like really loose themed birthday parties. Oh. Like, uh, I remember having a summer themed birthday party where it's like, uh, one of those summer. flower necklaces and like the grass skirts and stuff like that. Like a Hawaiian? Oh, like a hula. Uh, a Hawaiian yeah, hula. Theme? Other than that, I don't really remember like any other themed birthday parties. Did you ever have like slumber parties? Uh, probably. Excuse me. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, I remember one time I talked about this on stream where I was uh, sleeping over at a friend's house and I really had to go to the bathroom. Uh oh. And I had a dream oh, that uh, I went to their bathroom down the hall, but actually I was sleeping the whole time. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. I was, you know. That'll happen. <laughs> well, I was like, dead. Yeah, except I was sleeping on the floor, so <laughs> I was on the carpet. Wet the floor. <laughs> Could you blame like a pet? A dog did it. No, I didn't tell anybody. I just left it there. I covered it with yeah. a blanket. Just, I, was, I was so embarrassed. Uh, back, back in, uh, right before I joined the Navy, my all my friends were in college, and I, I slept on the floor and pissed on the floor a couple of times. Uh, I don't think I told anybody either. Uh, it's fun times. Uh, nah. <laughs> Well, actually, that's pretty smart because they definitely found it. They definitely smelt it, but then they had to they had to guess which kid it was. Yeah, wasn't me. He peed <laughs> on the floor. Because I want us to like all the time. <laughs> Rice Krispies is the best. And I kind of have a bad memory associated with them because I remember one time... I think I told you guys this. I was like in elementary school and I like, ate like a big bowl of Rice Krispies. A big old bowl. And we had a fire drill. 
and I threw it up all over the sidewalk and no. all over the person in front of me, all oh, over no. their shoes, and it was somebody I had a crush on at the time. Oh, and no. I, I threw up all over their shoes, uh, and it left a big stain on the sidewalk. Left a giant stain that I was there for like a week or two. Mm. <laughs> Rice Krispies are so good though, it was totally worth it. I would do it again. My brother, okay. when I was younger, we were on a soccer team. I'd do it again. And I had like a, my baby teeth. Mm -hmm. And he threw a soccer ball. Mm -hmm. He told me to catch it, and he threw it at my face, and I lost three teeth. Oh no! Yeah. I think they were baby yeah, teeth. Not... <laughs> yeah, they were, they were baby teeth. <laughs> it was really bloody, though. Oh, I can imagine. Nah. <laughs> well, that's how siblings are. You know? Yeah. It gets a little bloody, but when you look back on it, you're just like, man. <laughs> uh, what fictional character do you did you have a crush on? Uh, I don't know if this counts, but the first thing that came to mind is that when I was younger, I used to read. This is embarrassing. Oh yeah. Uh, maybe I shouldn't say this. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, wait. This is, uh... How embarrassing. <laughs> say it. <laughs> I used to read uh, fan fiction. <laughs> Oh, I bet you did. Characters and there you go. <laughs> yeah. I like romantic ones, you guys. It was romantic. Romantic. <laughs> uh, it was Sniper and Spy. Okay, next question. Thank you. Actually, I cut the top of my thumb off because <clears throat> I saw my mom like peeling an orange. Oh. And have you ever guys have you guys ever seen people like peel back? You know, it's funny. Uh, I I did that with Play-Doh when I was a kid. I still have a scar on my fingy. Uh, they had to stitch it up, but I, I cut my like finger like halfway off. Where I was playing with play doh, and I just grabbed a butcher knife while my mom wasn't looking. That was fun. Vegetables or fruit, that's, that where, like they, they that's normal. They like guide the knife with their thumb. You know what I mean? Like uh, they like use their yeah. thumb, but then it also like hits their thumb. So uh, I was trying to cut an orange like that, and I was like, I can do that too. And uh, and you yeah. couldn't. Ugh, I can remember the pain. <laughs> Yeah, I cut like a, a nice, nice slice off the top of my thumb. I have a, Big lot, old I have slice. a lot of stories where I got hurt when I was younger. Yeah, we know. <laughs> I still eat the orange? No. No. Bloody orange. I don't want Blood to tell you all my stories just yet. You gotta, you gotta earn them. That's all you get for today. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> I like that song. I don't know what that was. That's very upbeat. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, more from Cherry, too. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be a part three, but uh, it's, these are fun. I like these. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe down below. Makes me feel real good inside. Helps out the channel. And if you have any recommendations for any other uh, videos or anything like that, uh, put it in the comments, and I will get to it eventually. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and bye.